Welcome back to Highly Questionable, brought to you by Evan Williams. Joining us at the beach today is Fabulous. Fabulous. F-A-B-O-L-O-U-S. Got to get that clear. He joins us on behalf of Def Jam's 30th anniversary concert Thursday, October 16th at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York City. Let's get to know him a little bit. Where did the beef with Ray J start? Did it really start because you were making fun of him for singing to Floyd Mayweather in his living room? Well, I wouldn't technically call it a beef, but um, our situations did start from it started from uh yeah i guess a joke and then we laughed about the joke and then later on um the joke wasn't funny anymore so you know it, it, i guess it went through a couple different uh avenues and uh you know that's where that situation was but but how is it not a beef if you guys were swinging at each other backstage like how is um, that what what it that's called a fight Usually a beef is like a back and forth between like people before a fight. So our thing wasn't really that back and forth at first. It was it kind of just went from a joke to a fight, and then after that, you know, I was kind of done with it because it wasn't really that that big of a deal to me at the first in the first place. So, but um, yeah, it was a, it was an altercation. It was a it was a little fight, but it wasn't. Uh, I wouldn't call it beef. Beef is like on a deeper, where I'm from, beef is in a deeper state, I guess. Well, for real, though, how funny was it that he was in the living room singing to Floyd Mayweather? He started laughing already. I mean, already. that was funny to me. <laughs> that, was, that was funny to me, and when I tweeted it, a lot of people found it funny. Um, when I first saw him, he found it funny. He <laughs> still um, wants to laugh right now. You still find it funny. <laughs> it's still funny. It, it is still funny. It, it's, still funny. It, it's still funny, and it was it's years <laughs> later, like, it, it's still funny. But, you know, I guess, you know, once you had a few drinks or, you know, Get a, get, a, get, a, get a little intoxicated, jokes aren't as funny as me anymore, I guess. Can you explain to us what happened with the phone call with Kanye? How does this work, where Kanye just falls out of the sky, calls you one day at 7 a.m. and just talks at you for, for an hour? Um, that's just Kanye, man. Like, you know, um, I, I, I wasn't expecting it, of course, but, um, you know, I got on the phone with him. And it, was, it was a pretty casual conversation and just talking and, you know, it was really early. It was maybe I, I had flew in on a red eye, and you know I just he, he was trying to get in touch with me. One of his uh, one of his boys reached out to me and was like, "Yo, Kanye wants to jump on the phone with you," and um, we just jumped on the phone and ended up just talking for a minute. And uh, it was just random to me because it was like 7:38 in the morning, and I usually wouldn't even be up at that hour, but just coming off the red eye, I was. So it was a very random Kanye West conversation you know what I'm saying can you help us with a failed investigation we have around here we're trying to get to the bottom of who the Knicks player was in Biggie's I got a story to tell do you know who the Knicks player was can you tell us who the Knicks player was I don't know but what I know Biggie said one of them didn't he say one of them Charles Smith or one of them six, six seven five. six six five. Six, six five six five so six who five. So you we have to narrow it. We have to take the suspects <laughs> and narrow it down to who's who's six five. Who was around six five, and that was it. Oakley. Oakley, I think, might have been around six five. No, yeah, Oakley, Oakley was taller. Was six, Oakley was taller. Oakley a little that. taller. What it about uh, Starks, Anthony Mason? Very, Starks, I don't think was six five. I think Starks. No, was he a told shorter. us he was six two. <laughs> Anthony Mason's a pretty good guess. That's Anthony a pretty good Mason guess. might be <laughs> it. Anthony Mason. Give us a good public guess. Give us a good if, public if, guess. If I was Jack McCoy or one of those Law and Order guys, I would be. <laughs> I would. I would track down Anthony Mason. That's all I'm gonna what? say. <laughs> we're getting closer. I feel like we're getting closer. Fab, thanks for being on with us, sir. We appreciate you being on with us. Thank you, no sir. No problem, man. Thank y'all for having me. Gracias, Fab. <laughs> Hi, Poppy. How you doing, Fab? Hey, what's up, man? Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you as well, man. I heard you're gonna show me some rap skills today. Yeah, we can we can do something together. He's gonna right. bury you. He's gonna All bury right. you. <laughs> if oh, you don't man. mind rapping with me. Oh, oh it's a battle. <laughs> I, oh, I it's a battle. I, th I thought it was collaborating, but it's a battle. No, okay. No, okay. no, no, my bad. No, my bad. Oh, it is no, a collaboration. No, that's, no. It. that's it. No, no, that's it. It's a battle now. <laughs> 